For centuries, Tarin roamed the barrens, hunting wildlife and living as nomads. They fought the centaur, enemies of the Tarin for generations, for food and land. The barrens are an unforgiving land, and as time passed, the Tarin dwindled in number. Eventually, Cairn Bloodhoof, leader of the Bloodhoof tribe, knew that his tribe must find a new home to survive. He knew of a land to the west, overtaken by centaurs, verdant and full of wild game. The beautiful land of Mulgor. When the orcs and their new Darkspear allies landed on the shores of Kalimdor during the Third War, they encountered the Bloodhoof Tarin and were quickly beset by their centaur enemies. After saving a Tarin village, Cairn noted to Thrall, war chief of the orcs, that the centaurs had driven out all the game in the land, and that they would have to journey to the green grasslands of Mulgor. With Thrall's help, Cairn and his Tarin tribe arrived in Mulgor and liberated it from the centaur. Atop the tall messes of the land, they built a capital, Thunderbluff, and declared it to be the new capital of the Tarin. No longer would they wander the land without a true home. Cairn opened the city to all the tribes of the Tarin. Amongst those who settled in Mulgar were the Grim Totem, led by Magatha Grim Totem. Her presence amongst the leadership of Thunderbluff would eventually sow turmoil for the Tarin living in Mulgar. In the years between the Third War and the Cataclysm, the Tarn had made a strong name for themselves both among the Horde and the Alliance. As a founding member of the Horde and a close friend to War Chief Thrall, Cairn was a well-respected leader amongst the faction, and his people grew close to the orcs and trolls settled in Durotar. They assisted Thrall in the Battle of Mount Hyjal, and developed relations with the Night Elves over their mutual respect of nature and the Ancient Guardians. When the Nightmare began to invade the Emerald Dream, and the Green Dragonflight called for help, the Tarn stood beside the Night Elves in defense of the Dream. It was one of these meetings between the Tarn and the Night Elves that the Twilight's Hammer chose to disrupt. Dressed as members of the Horde, they struck at the meeting, causing chaos and confusion. Enraged, Cairn blamed the newly raised Warchief, Garrosh Hellscream, for the attack. He challenged the Warchief to mock Gorah. The two fought a vicious duel to the death, with Garrosh coming out the winner. His axe, Gorhowl, had been poisoned by Magatha Grimtotem. The old Tarin attempted to use the confusion following the High Chieftain's death to take control of Thunderbluff and the surrounding villages for the Grim Totem. It was Cairn's son, Bane Bloodhoof, who liberated the city and rose as the new High Chieftain. By then, however, the Grim Totem had established a strong foothold in the area, and the relationship between the Tarin and the rest of Garrosh's horde had become tenuous at best. Off to the south of Mulgor, the small camp Narache was beset by a raid of Quillbores, stirred by the Cataclysm. The result was the death of the Great Mother, Chief Hawkwind's mother. The villagers gathered to pay their respects, and a young Tarin is sent to clear out the Quillbores attempting to establish a foothold near the camp and free the Tarin trapped there. A rite of passage to prove to the Elders that the new hero is ready to face the rest of the world and all its dangers. After the new hero proves their strength, they are sent to Bloodhoof Village, where they learn that despite the peaceful atmosphere, Mulgor is threatened by more than just a few riled quillbores. Gnolls and harpies harass travelers along the road, and earth elementals have become agitated after a dwarven dig site disturbed the land. Along the eastern cliffs, a mine has been established by the Venture Company, a goblin cartel focused on taking what resources it can by whatever means it can. The Venture Company isn't afraid to get its hands dirty, having killed Tarin in the past, and so when a cart was discovered on the plains of Mulgor, it was quickly attacked and burned by the Outrunners, Tarin stationed to protect the plains of Mulgor. The hero investigates the burned caravan and finds evidence of their mining operations. Reporting this to the Outrunner stationed nearby, they are sent to put an end to the Venture Company's mining. The Tarin hero finds and kills the operation's leader before he can enact plans to rid Mulgor of the Tarin entirely. Elsewhere in Mulgor, the Grim Totems have proven an unmovable threat. They were granted peace in exile by Bane, but have chosen to continue to harass Mulgor. They have poisoned some of the vital water wells in Mulgor, and strike at Tarin where they can. The hero is able to cleanse the wells, and eventually brings the issue straight to the High Chieftain. Bane accompanies the hero to confront the leader of the Grim Totem, harassing Mulgor, or no Grim Totem, and eventually slays the traitorous Tarin. Bane hopes that with that, the Grim Totem will leave Mulgor in peace for some time. North of Thunderbluff, the ancient spirit of a wolf wanders. 
Once an ally to the people of Azeroth against the Burning Legion during the War of the Ancients, the spirit has become lost. The hero is able to put the spirit to rest once and for all. At the northeastern corner of Mulgore lies Red Rocks, the site where the greatest heroes and leaders of the Tarin are cremated and their spirits released. It was here where Cairn was cremated, and after Garrosh is unseated as war chief, it is here that Bane speaks to Cairn's spirit, preceding Garrosh's trial. A sacred land for the Tarin, it is defended against the encroaching Quillbores, time and again. The verdant plains of Mulgore are a peaceful, bountiful land, providing the Tarn with a safe place to live atop its messes. Though the land has its dangers, it is perhaps one of the safest corners of Azeroth, often called the Cradle of the Earth Mother by the Tarn. No matter who attempts to wrestle control of the land from the Tarn, the ancient race will fight tusk and hoof to protect their new home.